Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm Barbara, your host for this episode of Morning Coffee and Crochet. And I have my little pug mug here, and I still have the mug that Kelly gave me right here. Kelly, I haven't been brave enough to use it yet. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> So it may just have a place of honor for a little bit until I get brave and um, because obviously I'm going to hand wash it and um, but my husband keeps telling me you need to use that mug. <laughs> Kelly's going to think you don't like it. I'm like no. Kelly knows I love it <laughs> and that's why I'm like holding it aside so nobody touches it. Um, I definitely don't want to get that one broken. But anyway, I have my little pug mug right now and and um, it kind of looks like he's drinking out of a Fiesta Wear coffee cup, which is kind of cool. Or he's in a Fiesta Wear coffee cup. Anyway, mm. love my coffee. You know that. Well, TGIF, everybody. <laughs> I am so glad that it's Friday because that means the weekend. It means Saturday, time to do laundry, maybe, you know, sweep and mop your floor, get your kitchen in order. Oh, yeah, all those great things. You know, were you one of the ones in this time of extra? That's what I'm going to call it, okay? This time of extra. Um, you know, if you had to stay at home, or are you the type of person who takes the time to, you know, take a toothbrush to the, uh, you know, the edges of your floor and, and scrub everything down and, and whitewash it? Or are you one to take that time to do things that you didn't have time to do, like lots of crocheting, <laughs> lots of Amazon ordering? <laughs> of course, we always made time for that, didn't we? I, um, you know, <laughs> if I could crochet all day long, I would be so happy. But, um, sometimes when I'm crocheting, then I feel guilty. Do you do that too? I feel guilty because I'm crocheting and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I really should empty the dishwasher. Okay. The dishwasher, the dishes are clean. It will only take me, you know, three minutes. It'll take me three minutes. Seriously, folks, it will only take me three minutes. Why am I putting it off? I don't know. I have no idea. Because I have to finish this one more row. That's why. Oh my goodness. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. And then when I'm doing something else, you know, and um and I'm thinking, oh, you know, I could be I could be crocheting right now. I could be crocheting. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just gonna just gonna be honest with you right now. You know. For whatever reason, this season of my life or whatever it is that, you know, I'm, I'm going through, I don't know if it has to do with depression. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm not really sleeping well at night. And um, so, you know, I go to bed kind of late and then I sleep usually between two and four hours. Um, I have to, you know, get up and use the restroom. And then when I use the restroom, my throat is dry, so I have to go get a drink and, um, you know, then I, I might go back and lay down, you know, and then I wake up another two hours later and, you know, the cycle starts again. And usually if it's four o'clock in the morning or later, um, then if I wake up around that time, then I will hit the button on the coffee maker. You know, we've already loaded the coffee maker from, you know, the night before we've loaded it and gotten that ready. And so, I'll hit the button on the coffee maker and I'll sit and, and drink some coffee really early in the morning. Oh, it just feels so good on my throat and I just love it so much and I love being able to drink it when it's hot and if I, you know, if I try to drink it later then usually I'm doing something else and then by the time I get back to it, you know, it's already cold and oh, you know how that is too. So. <clears throat> It's just, um, you know, it's just a, a never ending cycle. So then by the time, you know, eight o'clock comes around, I, you know, sit down to either, you know, work on editing videos or to work on some crochet or whatever. If I'm sitting in my comfy chair, sorry, <laughs> yawning a little bit. Um, if I'm sitting in my comfy chair, 
on the sofa we have a, a recliner part on the sofa so you know the feet go up and usually I'll try to find um, something on YouTube because I like to watch um, you know there's several people that I like to watch I like to watch cinnamon stitches anything she puts out that's new I like to watch her I love watching you know bag a day and Krista from the secret yarnery um, creative grandma I watch her sometimes um, sometimes I I, I like to watch her when she chats about things or when she did the yarn dyeing. Um, I don't really watch her tutorials that much because a lot of times she does baby blankets and, um, and you know, it's just a new stitch that she's showing or whatever. Nastasia.com. I love her. She will put out the strangest things and I am into it. I am so into it. Like she did this one and I, I'm still going to have to do that. I'm going to have to make some for Christmas. <gasps> I'll put the link below. This is another idea for Christmas. She did this hot pad and basically you, you crochet this like grid. So it's a square and it has all these little squares. It's just the way you crochet it. And then you do this 3D like squiggle with bright colors. And like she does the outside one color and then then the next row another color and she just keeps changing the colors as she goes in and it's like a 3d I don't know what the name of it is but I will find it and I'll put the link below so that you guys can get in on it too if you haven't seen it it looks amazing I cannot wait to try it um, but right now I'm really kind of busy um, I'm kind of busy because I do the three morning coffee and crochets every week or I, at least I, I do my best to make sure that those get out and I'm creating new patterns for the um, 12 weeks of Chris Christmas 12 weeks of crochet Christmas say that three times real fast <laughs> I know this girl can't do it um, and I came up with that idea, the 12 weeks of crochet Christmas, kind of on the fly. I just started thinking about, you know, how I never have time to finish crochet projects and they always start so late. And I was, you know, seeing all of the content that was coming out and there was, you know, a lot of unboxings and a lot of, you know, whatever. And, you know, and I like those, I really do. And I watch them, but I just needed something new in my life <laughs> you know I just needed something new <laughs> so I was looking for more than just you know new yarns coming out and and all of this and um, so that's when I I just decided that you know if I was going to get prepared for Christmas I needed to start now couldn't find a whole lot of fresh ideas out there so I just had to start creating some for myself and I decided to share it with you. So as I'm creating them, I'm putting them out. Um, and like I told you, um, you know, the crochet ornament that I did, I did that one on the fly. Um, and so I, you know, recorded it as I was creating it. Um, I had the thought in my head. I knew what I was going to do, but that was the first time that I had crocheted it. So, you know, as I'm doing these, um, a lot of times the larger items, obviously I'm planning ahead. I have them all done ahead of time, um, the more intricate items, but that one was just super easy and super quick. So I just recorded it right then. Um, so I'm trying to get ahead with, with those so that I can get those uploaded and ready. They can go on a schedule with YouTube. I'm sure if you're on YouTube, you know, you may, you may or may not know this, but you can schedule your videos to come out. And so the tutorials, I can schedule those for, you know, future Saturdays. So, um, you know, I, I really try to get those ahead of time, but, you know, life can get busy and, you know, families, family can need you and need you to, you know, take care of them or take them places or doctors or, you know, just hanging out. Um, with the grandkids or whatever. So you know how that goes. Anyway, I am rambling. <laughs> I'm rambling. But that's how that got started. And so anyway, I, I know this all started because I was talking about Nastasha. I was talking about all of the YouTubers that I, that I like to watch and everything. And there's so many that I like to watch. Um, I can't really remember all of them right now. Um, oh, well, obviously Melody Yarny Crochet. Um, 
and I watch her and um there was a new one that um I just found oh yeah squishy squishy yarn uh from Australia I've been watching her and I love watching that because she will show you all of the um fresh off the hooks that she has and um she's got some really neat ideas and I, I you know there's a couple things on there that I am gonna have to make um I think she made a teddy bear and there were some blankets that she made and um anyway I'm all about it so I hope that you have a fantastic Friday and um just you know enjoy your night enjoy your friday night um do something fun do something relaxing whatever floats your boat i tell you what's going to float my boat mm -hmm. <laughs> my boat will float by just crocheting and spending time with family and just relaxing and um enjoying enjoying the quiet of the evening so anyway don't forget to check out the new tutorial tomorrow um i have it uploading kind of early tomorrow i've already scheduled it it's out there it's on the books so no more drama <laughs> with my tutorial for christmas <laughs> i know if you didn't see that episode where i talked about you know a little drama that i had <laughs> regarding these little gnome guys i think that yeah I'm not sure if, you know, are gnomes known to make trouble? Yeah, maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe that's why I had so much trouble with that tutorial. But anyway, I am preventing that for the future. <laughs> no more trouble. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you have a great Friday. Check out my tutorial tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, share with the world. <laughs> tomorrow is a project that that um you're going to want to share you're going to want to share it and um you know share it with all your yarny friends do me a favor share my page i'm trying to get to 300 and i mean that's my mini goal obviously you know as far as youtube is concerned my next big goal is a thousand and i am working my way to that and i'm so excited and i thank you all so much for you know, hitting the subscribe button and being part of my tribe. I am so blessed to have you come along this journey with me. And so I hope that um, everything is great and stay safe, be kind, and get hooking. <laughs>